Page 323. Do not cast yourselves, or people of your kind, or fellow human beings, into ruin through any kind of machinations, and do not concoct things which brand you as unfair ones or irresponsible ones. Be at all times fair or responsible, and righteous or conscientious to yourselves, so that you do not fall prey to doubtfulness regarding yourselves, and you do not regard yourselves as lost in the depths of your inner nature, and be at all times fair or responsible and righteous or conscientious to people of your kind or fellow human beings, so that you do not fall into doubtfulness with them, and they do not avoid you. Truly, also practice equitableness or fairness in all things and help people of your kind or next ones slash fellow human beings when they need your help. But do your good deeds in such a wise that you do not humiliate the needy and others requiring help, and so that they are not obliged to abase themselves in unseemly or improper slash inappropriate gratitude. Consider, help to people of your kind or fellow human beings is a duty given by the laws and recommendations of the primal power or creation. Therefore it shall be a certainty, or implic implicitness, for you, which you shall do in contentment, or modesty. And consider, when you give alms or gifts, that you shall not be stingy, rather act according to the best of your ability regarding what you can give in goods and riches. But see that you yourselves have enough, and do not have to suffer privations, through distributing or donating alms and gifts or donations. But consider stinginess, which is a terrible thing, and is of no use to you at the end of your days, because you cannot take anything with you into the realm of death or death life. Therefore, it is also senseless for you to have gifts and great riches, or grave offerings, placed into the grave, and therefore it is senseless for you to have gold and other valuable things forged into coverings on your face, or death masks, and to have yourselves wrapped in expensive and sumptuous garments, or for you to want your dead body preserved or embalmed with expensive oil, since what has lost the bloom or breath of the life remains behind on the earth and decays in its time, or sooner or later, and truly neither your dead body nor anything of what you place into the grave can be taken into the realm of death or death life that is not made of firmness or material, but is in truth of the finest power or energy, which is the equivalent of that of the primal power of all primal power or creation. Comprehend what is the truth of the truthly truth. Therefore you shall listen to the admonishing and instructive words of the true prophets, so that you may become knowing or conscious of the real truth, and act and lead your life as is laid down for you through the laws and recommendations of the primal power or creation. Do not pray to people of your kind or human beings who raise themselves up above you such as rulers who only want to exert mastery over you and to exploit you, but who do not have a speck of dust of a weight for your well-being. They see in you only creatures who deny themselves in submissiveness, but who are, however, believers in them. The rulers, or despots, slash dictators, slash absolutists, and are subjected or submissive to them, although they only flatter or blandish you for as long as it is of benefit or success for them. But if they do not require you any longer, or if you turn against them, then they do not hesitate to persecute and to kill you. Therefore, you have truthfully no advantage or benefit from them, rather only exploitation and a danger looming over your life, because they do not regard you as people of their kind 
only as lowly and common folk, or spineless creatures, amongst all. See that you have clear evidence for the kind of thinking or mentality that you have, so that you do everything to be fair ones or responsible ones, and righteous ones or conscientious ones, and grant yourselves and people of your kind or fellow human beings everything that leads you and them out of the gloom of that which is unright and against the truth of the primal power or creation. And do the same as the true prophet, so that you do not demand any compensation for bringing the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life, to people of your kind or fellow human beings, through your mouth or speaking. Rather, only take due and appropriate compensation for your contributions or expenses or gifts or voluntary presents, if these are of an extent that is rightful for you or intended for you to do good deeds with them. Appreciate all people of your kind or human beings equally as people of your kind or human beings, because you are all in all firmaments or universe and on all earths or worlds slash planets a single people of the primal power of all primal power or creation therefore there is no difference between people of your kind or human beings but only in your face and the color of your skin as well as inside and outside your body and in your speaking or language truly through the truthly laws and recommendations of the primal power of all primal power or creation, you possess infinite treasures or means through which you can lead your existence or life and make or form everything to the best and with which you can unfold or evolve yourselves. However, much is only given to you in concealment so that you must fathom it out or research it. And truly, much of what is hidden is revealed to you by the true prophet and is made known or conscious to you through him. Consider, however, that he is from your people and therefore no liberator or angel, but a person of your kind or human being, although with more knowledge and wisdom and cognizance than you yourselves have, therefore also of that which is given in the laws and recommendations of the appearance or nature from the primal power of all primal power or creation. Therefore, allow yourselves good and valuable things and learn from the teaching of the prophets, as your prophet teaches you, so that you do not disdain him and the truth teaching in your eyes, and do not belong to the unfair ones or irresponsible ones, and unrighteous ones or conscienceless ones, who still have a very long way to go before they can recognize or see the real truth in their time or one day and turn to it. However, they will truly strive against or reject the truth for a long time and indeed bring about calamity many times over through jealousy and hatred, through peacelessness, unfreedom or bondage, dissonance or disharmony, and war, as well as through outrages of all kinds activities of gewalt such as bloody deeds or murder, and defilement or crime. And consider what is proclaimed or announced to you through the true prophet regarding what expectations or foretelling will accrue to you or befall you in the time to come or future and in the far off and even farther off time to come or far and farther future, that will be fulfilled, or that which has been given to you as an oracle or prophecy, is a warning of what will happen if you do not turn the course of things to the better and do not strive yourselves to follow the truth. If you do not listen to the words of the true prophet and do not heed his advice, then it will be that you yourselves destroy very much of what you have created, or your achievements, just as you also destroy the appearance or nature and stir up the weather 
or climate slash climate change against yourselves, as a result of which you are struck by enormous unweather, high waters, and storms and earthquakes and many other calamities, so that many people of your kind or human beings are carried off by the roaring or rampaging of the elements of the appearance or nature, and through illness, unfortune, mishap or accident, and vexations or plagues. Do not think that the oracles or prophecies of the true prophet are merely fabulations or inventions, because he does not lay any blame upon himself with lies. However, great guilt will fall on you if you do not lend your ears to the warnings and do not change everything to the better, so that the oracles or prophecies are not fulfilled. But consider that which is proclaimed or announced to you in terms of expectations or foretelling cannot be changed by you because it will happen as it has been revealed, because you have already done everything to ensure that there is no possibility of change. Go in peace with your prophet who reveals to you the true teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the light, so that the truth may prosper in you and you may pass this on to your descendants, and they in turn may pass it on to their descendants for all time to come or future. Truly, your far-off descendants, who will be other clans or families than those which you have now, and will be more knowing and wiser than you can be in your life, but nevertheless they also need the instruction of the teaching of the prophets. So you shall take care that you are connected to the truth, and that you pass it on or teach it to your descendants, or children's children, etc., so that in all the time to come or future, they will do the same. And in this wise, people of your kind or humankind will be spared a sizable or very great amount of affliction and hardship, misery and spilling of blood, as well as outrages or crimes of all kinds. Consider at all times this message of the things that are still concealed to you, as it is reveal to you through the true prophet, and which you do not know up until now. Nevertheless, persevere in hearing the message through the prophet, so that you do rightfully, and comprehend or understand the teaching of the pro prophets, and pass it on or teach it to your descendants, so that they and their descendants and their descendants in turn, into the far time to come or far future, will be able to reshape or change the outcome of the oracles or prophecies to the better. Do not be fabulators or inventors of lies. Rather, be recognizers and bearers as well as keepers or protectors of the truth. And never demand a compensation for this, because the compensation comes of its own accord, or automatically, slash, by itself, from out of yourselves to you, if you are faithful to the truth in a righteous or conscientious and fair or responsible wise. If you turn yourselves to the truth, then fruitful clouds will come over you with ample showers of rain, which will wash you clean of your errors from and from ununderstanding, so that your power of the truth will increase in you and will increasingly fall away from all those things of unfairness or irresponsibility and unrighteousness or conscienceless that bring continuous confusion in yourselves. And as you give faithfulness to the truth of the laws and recommendations of the primal power of all primal power or creation, so you will also recognize or see and understand the signs or evidence of their reality or existence. As you abandon your fabulated or invented gods and tin gods, as well as their false prophets, priests, servants of gods, and servants of tin gods, 
so that you no longer believe in them and worship them because of a mere and made-up word. Be knowing, or conscious, that no gods and no tin gods can inflict an evil upon you or give you help in any things whatsoever. And truly, no one can bear witness with good admonishment or conscience to people of your kind or human beings that he or she has ever received even a speck of dust of a weight of evil or calamity or help or benefit or success through a god or a tin god, no matter what fulsome or very great entreaties and prayers were made to them, and irrespective of your falling down on your knees or making offerings or sacrifices to them. Truly, it is only through the laws and recommendations of the primal power or creation that help is granted to you if you follow them accountably or conscientiously and fairly or responsibly and at all times in equitableness or fairness. And if you do in this wise then you will have no share in what the unrighteous ones or conscienceless ones and unfair ones or irresponsible ones do when they pray to gods and tin gods.